In this video, we're going to investigate your Facebook settings. Once you get a Facebook page for your business, how do you set it up? For example, how do you set it up so that you can have more than one administrator? Or you can allow your customers to post to your page? Well, it's all in the settings. So in this video, I'm going to go one by one through the various settings on Facebook to explain how to set up your Facebook page for best social media marketing. Let's get started. Welcome back. We're looking at Facebook page settings. So either you have a Facebook page already or you're setting one up and we want to investigate the way that you can configure your settings so that you get uh, sort of the, the right type of relationship between you and your potential uh, Facebook fans. Now, so you're going to need to log into Facebook as an individual and remember that you know on Facebook there is a huge difference between a profile and a page. So I, Jason McDonald, have a profile and the JM Internet Group has a page and I, Jason McDonald, Carbon Based Lifeform, manage the page of the JM Internet Group. So those are two very different things and you want to make sure that you set up the right one and that you've got the right one. So to set up a page, I have a link uh, here, and of course the links for everything are in the YouTube description if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, so I have the help file, and then I also just have a link over. So if you're setting up a page from scratch, you'd go here. Most of us will be setting up a local business or a place, or we'll be setting up a company, organization, or institution. It's all really the same thing when it comes down to settings. The only difference being local businesses have reviews and the ability to check in. That's the big difference. All right, so uh, I'm gonna sort of log in and I'll show you as I go through our page, uh, the various um, roles and we're gonna kind of go down the top. Okay, so here I am in Facebook. Uh, so I'm just logged into me, Jason McDonald, uh, the person and you know, uh, all my different things are going on on my Facebook page here, my Facebook uh, newsfeed, even I use the wrong nomenclature. Now I'm gonna go over here on the left into my pages. So these are pages that I manage or control and I'm gonna drill down into the JM Internet Group. So again, on the left-hand side, when you're logged in, you'll see pages once you've created one, and then you can scroll down. And most of you might just have one page. I have a bunch that I'm involved in. So I'm gonna click over to JM Internet Group. So now I'm logged into my Facebook page as essentially the admin, okay? All right, now let's pop back over here and sort of go through what I wanna show you. So on the left, let's look at page roles and preferred page audience. So on the left, I'm going to go down um, in, oh, my bad. I'm going to click on settings to get into my settings. Okay, so now I'm on my settings. And then, so again, click on settings, which is here at the top right of the screen. And then I'm going to click on page roles and preferred page audience. Okay, so click on page roles. And here's where um, I'm designated myself, I'm designated Gloria, I'm designated Noel, and these people are admins, so they can also manage the page. So the profile of Gloria manages the page, and you want at least two admins uh, for any page. And the reason is that the page cannot exist without at least one admin. And what you don't want to have is uh, the employee gets hacked, the employee gets fired, whatever, and then the page will disappear because the employee turned it off or the employee's profile disappeared, et cetera. So at least two admins set up under page roles. Now, a new feature is preferred page audience. Uh, this is where you can set a preferred page audience. I don't think it has a lot of value, but you can basically give um, Facebook some keywords and it'll hopefully suggest your page uh, to people who have those interests. So that's where you would do that. All right, let's pop over here. Now let's go into settings more in detail, sort of top right, and let's look at some of these uh, issues. So let's look at page visibility. Let me close out of that guy there. So let's look at um, um, back to settings, right? Just to sort of set, go back to the beginning. And then let's look at page visibility, edit, you know, kind of a huge duh. This is where uh, when you're creating the page, right? So unpublished would be killing your page. That's what you don't want to do. Okay. So that's page visibility. Let's look at page verification, page verification. This is important and more important than it used to be. So if you verify the business phone number, then you get a little boost in your uh, activity. No big deal there. So that's pretty obvious. Visitor post. This is one of the most important settings for your Facebook page. 
So visitor post is controlled here. And so I have it set to uh, anyone can publish posts and uh, this, they can, they can, and I'm going to show you that in a second. So that means any visitor, any person who likes the page can publish something to it. Uh, and there's a couple um, ways that you can do this. You can turn it off so they can't do this, or you can put kind of like a little editorial control there that you have to review it before they do it. And you can obviously turn off photos. So what are we talking about here? So if you go back to the materials again in the YouTube description, let's look at the White House and let's look at Taco Bell. Okay, so, so I like both of these, you know, I'm very eclectic. I like the White House and I like Taco Bell. Uh, now notice how I'm on the White House and here's Barack Obama and he's in front of Yellowstone or Yosemite at something. And notice how uh, he's just doing his thing and he's sharing information on Facebook and yada yada. Now let's look at Taco Bell. And notice here on Taco Bell, I can just put, you know, me so hungry, uh, you know, me so hungry me want chalupa now right and i can hit post so i jason can post onto the taco bell page and presumably that's you know seen by my friends and family and they know i have no class and i'm interested in eating a chalupa right so if you're taco bell this setting is good because it makes your page more interactive and it helps you with your social spread because as your fans are able to post and share and comment, they can do all sorts of interesting things and their friends and family see it. And that's one of our goals on Facebook is to get this spread. That's the upside. What's the downside? I can put in here, you know, I hate Taco Bell. I hate your tacos, right? And I'll just put just kidding, right? And I can hit post, right? So you can write anything you want here about Taco Bell. Now that's probably right to make a guess why the White House has this turned off because of the climate in our country. Probably people wouldn't be on their best behavior. So the White House makes a brand decision to turn that off. Taco Bell has it turned on and that setting is controlled here under visitor post. So you're going to make a determination which is more important to you, the spread and the interactivity on the one hand or the control on the other. And there's sort of a middle ground here. You can also uh, uh, control it or review it, but you then have to man it. Somebody has to actually do that. So that's a really big setting. That's a really big setting. Okay, now let's look at reviews. And this is kind of silly. I don't know why my WordPress is putting these links here to every word on my site now it's linked but whatever okay so let's look at reviews if you've chosen a local business so when you set your page up or if you change your page type which you can do if you set it as a local business then reviews exist and I'll, I'll show you an example of that so the super dentist so this is a dentist that does a great job with their social media and you'll notice here the stars here and the reviews tab. So notice how the super dentist has reviews and stars and I can click over here and I can write a review, right? Once I like it, I can write a review and I love it, I hate it, whatever. Notice how Taco Bell doesn't have that because it's not a local business. This is not the local Taco Bell page and the White House certainly doesn't. So if you create a uh, local business then you can enable the reviews uh, tab and that's here so once you create it as a local uh, business you can allow visitors to review the page that also enables check-ins so that if they're at the dentist you can say hey we're having a contest and check into the dentist and you're going to win a free teeth cleaning yay so that check-in is enabled uh, because on the phone because it's a local business and it allows reviews and and reviews and check-ins are interrelated with this idea of being a local business so that's something uh, when you're going down your settings so reviews you can enable or disable and again i don't think that shows unless you're a local business i'm 98 percent certain on that one so you want to make sure you're a local business if reviews matter to you newsfeed audience and visibility for posts this is a new feature so uh, let's find it here. News feed to, to reviews, tagging ability. It's in here somewhere. So under here is news feed. Sometimes you can't find something. Just go in here and go news. It's just being bad. So that may be over here. 
So they've moved that somewhere. So newsfeed is here. I don't know why I'm not seeing that. Newsfeed. So that may or may not always show, but what that is is a sort of a, again, some of these features I think are a little bit kind of useless, but it means it allows you um, uh, to set that up. Uh, page moderation. Page moderation is, again, here. Here's page moderation. This is where you can block comments. So like if there's certain words you don't want to have in there, like maybe you're the White House and you don't want to have Donald Trump. You know, anyone who says anything about Donald Trump, you want to block that word. That's where you would uh, enter that here. You can also turn your profanity um, filter on. So those are your obvious naughty words. Um, you can fill in the blank as to what those are. So I have it set to strong. You can turn that off if you want it, yes or no. So you can uh, uh, add that there. So that's your profanity filter for that one. So you've got that feature too. And then uh, similar page suggestions. Again, this is a promotional uh, issue. So similar page suggestions. Generally, you would want to allow that uh, to be included. So uh, again, you're going to, uh, you know, to, to make it really sort of obvious, uh, you know, log into Facebook as an individual, and then you've either set up a page uh, or you're, you're setting one up, and then it's going to show in your page um, on the left-hand side there on pages. And then you know, find the page. Now you're obviously going to have just a few. Uh, click into your page, and then on the right, click on settings. And then under settings, you'll see you know post attribution notifications, all these. So go through here, and then this is where you can uh, kind of basically run down. I've run down the main ones, uh, so run them down, and this is where you're going to get your main uh, impact. And here in the blog post, I kind of go through the ones that I think are most important uh, and explain them. Uh, sort of wrapping this up, remember, um, most of what we want on Facebook, for most of us, we're not the White House, most of us, it's all about interactivity. So I would generally um, encourage allowing posts to the page, allowing reviews, allowing check-ins, uh, all that kind of stuff that's set in your settings to make it as open and interactive and fun and engaging as possible. That's what you really want to uh, encourage. So that, my friends, has been uh, understanding the basics of Facebook page settings. Uh, I've gone through them one by one. Again, don't forget that when you're stuck and uh, things change, we always get this on, on YouTube, people, oh, it's changed. You remember, you can just go to Google and put in Facebook settings, right? And Google it and you'll get to the help files, right? And then the help files will be more up to date. Uh, about that. So you can look here. Now this is mainly your personals, but you can, you know, Google your Facebook page settings, etc. So so it's always wor worthwhile to remember you can go back to the help files because as soon as I produce this video, it's probably out of date. Uh, so in sum, there you go, how to understand the Facebook page settings. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff.